Once you've finished your house, you should have something that looks somewhat like this. I've added an extra closet here and an extra closet here. You'll see I'm using the push-pull tool right now just to get some polka dots. Makes it really easy to see what's going on. I've got a mud room up here that I just thought would be nice. I've got just a back step, very, very small back step that I'm going to remove later. Um, my person is still there. If I change my view uh, by using the orbit tool, um, holding down the middle mouse wheel like it's a button, <clears throat> then I can see sort of where I'm going. But for right now, I'm just going to go back to the standard views in the top. So once I've got this all finished, the easiest way to do this is to kind of erase all the little lines. And then when I pull the walls up, um, then I'll be ready to go. But I really want to make sure that I've stopped and thought, okay, here's going to be my entertainment zones. Here's going to be my bedroom zones. There's a bathroom right here, very close and handy. If I want to add another bathroom, I could either add an ensuite here to keep the plumbing all together, or I could uh, add a bathroom over here, call it the entertaining bathroom. Um, and then we can always add garages or other things outside later on. So this is the floor plan. So you want to stop and save this as the floor plan file. And then next, what you're going to do is you're going to pull the walls up and type in 2.4, enter. And now the walls should all be roughly 8 feet tall or 2.4 meters tall. Um, you can see here, I've got a lot of extra lines in here where I had done a lot of drawing on my floor plan and Google SketchUp has kind of kept the lines. So now with the empty house, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try removing some lines. Every so often you'll find a line that you can't remove. So just control Z to put it back. For instance, if I remove this line, you'll see, oops, that was a bad idea. So I can undo that. Um, but go around and then also you'll want to choose the bucket and uh, with the bucket you can choose a number of colors, textures. I'm going to do a little bit of brickwork on the outside. Uh, let's just randomly choose this one. And so now I can just kind of go around my house adding some out outside brickwork. I'm not going to worry so much about um, about windows and doors yet. That sort of comes later. Um, but, uh, and I'm certainly not going to worry about the tops of the walls because I'm either going to put a roof on or I'm going to put on another story. But, uh, but very easy to add. And I can add some carpet in here. Although this sort of looks like 70s carpet. Not really happy with that carpet. Might want to put that back there. There we go. That's not quite so bad. And uh, although there might be some hardwood floor in there too, so we can always add some nice hardwood floor. That's a little bit better. And when you're do all done painting the walls and the door, uh, sorry, the walls and the floor and uh, <clears throat> the outside, and then you need to, you want to do a save again, and you want to do save as, and you'll call this um, 3D house empty. Okay, and so the first one would be called floor plan, the next one would be called 3D house empty. And when you've kind of gone through, erased all the lines that you want to get rid of, um, and then gone from there, you can talk about adding doors and um, furniture in as well. Remember that if you want full points, you need to draw the furniture yourself. And um, we'll do that in the next video.